How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and I'm gonna unbox and give you my first impression of the one plus one phone the flagship killer that costs $350 and you can only get it through invites. So let's get it out. Now I just got it not too long ago, barely have a few hours on it, but you can see this is the unpackaging of what is to come. I had to get an invite in order to buy this phone, so every person who buys this phone gets invites to allow the people to buy it. And once your fingertips touch the box, it feels like my Nexus 5, that soft touch back, you know? But anyways, the box has a little string to rip it open, so it's not gonna be hardcore to open it up. And once again, the box itself also feels like my Nexus 5 backing. And then this is the 64 gigabyte and it's sandstone black and is a world phone so it works for AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, maybe some other ones which obviously is for a world phone but those are the most popular ones here in America. And right next to it we have the Nexus 5 inch screen when the OnePlus One has a 5.5 inch screen. This is my first time holding it out of the box in my hand. It felt really cool. I've always been curious of how exactly it feels in the hand and it feels like some kind of soft sandpaper. But it doesn't feel like you can sand down wood or metal for that matter, but it's running off of Cyanogen mod, which until now you can use as the stock experience without having to be rooted. So usually to get Cyanogen mod, you have to be rooted and flash a custom ROM. Well, this comes out of the box like this with so many customizing features that Cyanogen mod already gives you over stock Android, which vanilla Android, you know, Nexus devices, this has way better options. And it makes you feel like you don't need to root or flash custom ROMs on it. With that said, I still root all my devices unless it's something like this, which I don't feel that I would need to root, and I'm not even entirely sure if I'm gonna keep this device. And I'm not meaning like if I don't keep it, it's because it sucks. Within my first 20 minutes of using it, it made my Nexus feel like, who are you? Because I'm a huge Nexus guy and I prefer it. But this OnePlus One will act as my Nexus with even better internals, better camera, faster speeds, more customizations, with a stock experience, with Cyanogen mod, which gives you all the updates for futureness, if that makes any sense. And it makes me say to myself, can I really leave the Nexus for the OnePlus One or future devices that come just like the OnePlus One? The answer is yes, it could. But the Nexus 6 is coming out this year, and some of you might ask me why didn't I wait for the Nexus 6 instead? Well, that's because I want to see what the hype is about. And the other reason is because of the 4K recording ability on that. I've looked it up on YouTube and it looks so good where I can actually try to use that because 4K cameras cost a lot of money in it. But if I can use the OnePlus One for 4K video and a backup phone for if ever I break a phone or whatever, I have one. The OnePlus One doesn't have any gimmicks. It has features that you will actually want to use such as these cool lock screen gestures that you can do while the screen is off. Tap to wake up, turn on your flashlight, play your music, skip tracks, open your camera, and whatever else they want to bring up when it's available. And all you people who are saying that these phones are too big for your pockets, knock it off. They're perfectly fine. You can see that it's in my pocket. I'm, these are one of my tightest jeans I have. They're not skinny jeans, but they're one of the tightest ones and they still fit perfectly fine in my pocket. In the back pocket, it protrudes out a little bit where the lens comes out, but that could be used in your advantage while you record in butt view. I'm sure it'll be a very shaky video though. Yes, I do have a $600 camera that does just great for videos, but I'm always looking for a different angle and a different setting in camera. And if I wanna to move to 4K, the OnePlus One looks that good. And I'm not saying I'm gonna to get to it this soon, but if this OnePlus One can replace my $600 camera, I can sell that camera and get something else. While I have the compactness of the OnePlus One camera in my pocket, I mean, that's the real, real purpose. Plus the price is really good. It does feel bigger, but that's something that we all have to get used to. And for the record, the iPhone 6 Plus will be bigger than the OnePlus One. You guys are gonna like a lot about this phone, and if you're like me where you just want Nexus, I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, what phone has more features, what works better, in another video. So two more future videos will come. I don't know how fast I'm gonna be able to put them out, but I will, and I'm gonna try my hardest because I've been really busy doing all my other work that I have other than technology. All I know is that I'm in testing phase. Doesn't mean I'm gonna keep it. 
So if you get this phone and you see me get a different phone, you can't get mad at me for not having the same phone because it's all opinion, functionality, and that's entirely all your choice. Alrighty, tune in next time where I go more in depth with this one plus one and maybe you want an invite by the cool loser But until then please be patient for them as I figure out how to do it because I've been so busy and I'm finally gonna get to it and I'm gonna make it be a Earning basis for the invite Later